Hey, yo. Is what it do. My name is Kesey and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I was having a hard time figuring out what I wanted to do because clearly I started this channel two years ago and I haven't really given y'all much insight about who I am. Like I wanted to do a tag, I wanted to get, get to know me tag and I wanted to do a Q&A. So I just asked friends and families to ask me some questions. So it's kind of be, it's gonna be like a mesh of both <laughs> because yeah, I wanted to do this a while ago, but when I first started my channel, I was still like a little shy to be in front of a camera. Like if y'all noticed, my first few videos were just cooking videos and I wasn't in any of them because I didn't have to show my face. I had to get used to doing like the voiceovers and stuff. And actually when I did do the first one with me on the camera, it was the hair install and I can't even listen to that video because it's just so cringe. Like I don't like listening to the voiceover. That was the first voiceover I ever did and it's on the mess. I don't ever go back to it. But anyways, so I have my laptop right here because clearly I'm recording on my phone, but I have the questions on the laptop. So let me just look. Um, I kind of want to take off this makeup child. Look, in this camera, I just look so discolored. <laughs> Like, I don't know my shade. Anyway, so let's get to some of these questions. And I wanted to drink some wine, but I don't have any right now. All I have is liquor, so. But let me pull up the questions. Yeah, if I can find them. See, I did this a long time ago. It's in my notes. Okay, I found it okay so first question what is your name um so my name is my but i go by kesey so that's my name how old are you i am 26 i just turned 26 on september 30th why did you start this channel i i started it to get out of my shell like i was very or i thought that i was very shy i mean i'm a reserved person but I'm, I don't think I'm like as shy as I thought. I was just scared to do stuff. So I just started this channel to get me out of my shell. I thought I wanted to model. That's really what I did this for. So I wouldn't be so shy to do stuff and interact. Yeah, but I don't want to be a model anymore. But I'm, not, I'm also not shy anymore. So goal accomplished. <laughs> okay. Are you used to speaking to a camera? I mean, I am now. Uh... But when I first started, no, and some of these questions are from when I first started, so sorry, y'all bear with me. Yeah, when I first started, I wasn't used to it. Like, I would do my voiceovers, like, hella times. So I would keep doing it over. Now, it's like, I mean, I just feel like it's not that deep. Like, of course, I want to give good content and stuff, but I just feel like just, you know, just bigger self. Shit ain't that deep. Okay. What are your fears of starting this channel? Um... Hmm. I mean, I don't have any fears now. I guess when I first started, I was just nervous about, like, about judgment, I guess. <laughs> and, you know, I am shy, so I didn't know how to... I don't know. I think I wanted to be a likable person. And so, like, for example, back to the voiceover, I, was, I wasn't really being myself in that voiceover. I was trying to be professional. And I wanted to sound like I knew what I was talking about. So yeah, I just, I guess just judgment. That was my only real fear. Um, where did your username come from? So I think my username is Miss Manye, right? Um, yeah, Manye is my middle name. So yeah, my KC and Manye. Um, when is your birthday? September 30th, I just said. What is your sign? So I am a Libra sun, a Virgo moon, and an Aquarius rising. And it's so interesting because those are literally my favorite signs. Um, I like Aries and Sagittarius too. Those are my other favorite signs. If you weren't a Libra, what sign would you be and why? I would be an Aquarius. I mean, I am an Aquarius rising, but if my sun sign was Aquarius, I wouldn't be mad at that. I love them down. Like my best friend Kai is an Aquarius. And just a lot of people that I meet over the years, I just always click really well with them. Like in high school, was this girl named, her name is Chanel. We're still cool to this day, but I fuck with her the long way. In college, I met Nadi and I love her down still to this day. I just, 
you know, they're really good people. I don't know too many male Aquarians, so I don't really know what to say about them. But the females, I love them now. I hate saying females. The women, I love them now. <laughs> What's your favorite color? That's an interesting question, and I remember who asked it. Because at the time, I was saying periwinkle. Because I have two favorite colors. I love lavender, and I love turquoise. But everybody's always like, you gotta choose one. So I used to say periwinkle, which I do. I love periwinkle, I do. But my favorite color is lavender. I love lavender. Okay. Do you have a favorite number? I do, and it's 11. And it's so interesting. So 11 has been my favorite number since I was 11 years old. But like over time, it just makes sense. Like my shoe size is 11. I am 5'11". My life path number is 11. So yeah, I just love 11. Do you want to be famous? Like, no. Like, how do I answer this question? Because I don't. I really don't. But I, I would like to get, like, hella subscribers, which is crazy because to get that many subscribers, you have to be a little famous. I guess I want to be famous within YouTube. I don't want to be, like, like, like Beyonce or, like, Nicki or Rihanna's level of famous. I don't want to be that famous. I want to be low-key and... Yeah, I don't want to be famous, honestly. I just want to live my little life and... I don't want people looking at my life under a magnifying glass. Like, I don't care for that. I'm a private person. I would like to stay that way. Um, yeah, so I don't want to be famous. Um, who is your celebrity crush? Oh, uh, so it's always changing. Because I think whoever asked me that, it was somebody else at the time. Um, but I have a few. So, Javante Rose. That man is fun. Javante Rose. Skepta. And um, there's somebody else. I can't think of them right now. I think that's it, honestly. I think I was just adding another. Oh, <laughs> Morris Chestnut. Like it, it's on and off with him. And right now, I think Jalen Hurts is so fine, but he he's like a pretty boy fine. You know, that's not typically my type. I think he's fine though, but he's probably not a celebrity crush. But yeah. Mostly, Trevante been my celebrity crush for a little minute now. Him and like Skepta for the past three years because he's tall and he's fine. I like that. Oh, that's what I'm forgetting. What's his name? I don't know how to pronounce it, but he was on um, Insecure and he was on the first purge. His name is spelled like Y apostrophe L A N and it's Noel or Noel. I don't know. But him, that man is fine. Chocolate man. Chocolate bearded man. Jesus. What do you declare yourself, homo, bi, or hetero? That's an interesting question. And why I wrote it like that? That's interesting. I'm hetero. I like means. <laughs> For real though, that's a weird homo, bi, or hetero. That's interesting. But yeah, I'm straight. I like me and me. What's the best way for a man to approach you? Um, I think it just depends because I would say saying something clever like honestly in the DMs I don't check it that often unless you are just fine and tall like that's lucky way well I ain't gonna say that's the way to get me you have to also come with something and have like a nice little conversation in the DMs first but in the DMs yeah something clever something to make me laugh or something like that I'm usually receptive to that in person I don't really know <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't want to say, you know, you know, walk up to me, hey, because sometimes I'll be lying. Sometimes I'll be like, I'm in a relationship. Or sometimes I'll be like, I'm a gay. Like, I don't lie in person, honestly. It just, it's a feeling that I get. So, I don't know. Just come up to me on some genuine stuff. You know, give me a compliment. If I'm not with it, then walk away. You know? I don't know. I don't know how I want somebody to approach me. Okay. Your favorite alcoholic beverage, Henny. And I haven't sipped that one time, child. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Henny girl. Are you religious? Um, I like this question. So 
when somebody first asked me this question i would say no i wasn't religious i was more spiritual but like as of recently like i don't know um it's not that i'm discovering my own relationship with god i've always had that it's just like lately i just i feel his presence like more and more like like i i hear him talk to me now i think around that time it was like i believe in god i prayed but i just felt like i wasn't very connected to the bible um so i was i was saying that i wasn't religious at all but i do think i am both religious as well as spiritual um but yeah i'm still not that connected to the bible i'm trying but yeah <laughs> yeah um what's your hidden talent my hidden talent um i can play let me show y'all <laughs> but this is my baby her name is jade um so my nephew cousin broke a string recently my, my cousin said she gonna replace it. i'm probably just gonna replace it myself but yeah he always bothering it every time he come over here and this is what he did to her so this is jade and my stepdad bought this for me you can't see it right now but you know how i said i love purple and like um turquoise so like it's, it's purple and blue depending on how you look at it right now it looks really blue but like it's purple too i don't know why it's not showing y'all anyways yeah so this is my baby um and i've had her for like two years now so when i was younger i was in the string program um so i played the bass and that's the really large instrument that you stand up with i played the bass me and my best friend at the time in fifth grade <laughs> duels uh yeah we were the only two in the class that played the bass but because it was so big and we was walking after the program so we got to get out of school early so we got out of school early and then we would go over to the gifted center um which wasn't too far away from where i was living at the time so afterwards we would just walk back to my house and then my mom would give her a ride home if it was too late because she lived down the street from me too but yeah where we lived in the hood so yeah don't my people wasn't letting us take them instruments home they was too big and we had to walk mm -mm. so we practiced on the violin and after like i don't know after after i got out the program basically i still wanted to play an instrument so i asked my mom to i told her i wanted a guitar for christmas and she had got me an acoustic guitar she it was a pink guitar her name was um lulu i love lulu down and what was funny i didn't um so what happened sophomore year it was 2016 that's when my parents like moved up here to atlanta too because you know i was just i was going back to motri in between the breaks or whatever but 2016 my stepdad had got a new job so they moved here and once i had already left for college and i was living on campus and i just you know i love i brought my clothes and the things that i needed and i left everything else my mom assumed because i didn't bring my guitar that i didn't want it so she gave it away and yeah so i didn't have a guitar for years and then uh y'all know that kodak black song testimony at the end of it so that and there's this song by um sleepy hollow it's called pray for those two songs made me want to play again so i wanted an acoustic but my stepdad had like a similar guitar so he got me one similar to his and jay this is her so this is very long with it i'm not gonna play because i'm shame like i'm still <laughs> i'm still a little shy with this and i need to fix this like she has to be in tip-top shape before i show y'all what i can do but i'll be right back let me see, let me see if i can do Oh, and this out of tune, no baby. Okay. Okay, so on to the next question. There aren't that many more questions left. How tall are you? I'm 5'11", like I stated. How many siblings do you have? So um, on my mom's side, I have an older brother and a younger brother, and I and Ja. And on my dad's side, I have a younger brother, Tay. So I have three brothers. Um, sometimes you'll hear me say my sister and if I say that I just mean like one of my god sisters 
Well, honestly, no. <laughs> if I say my sister, I'm talking about either Boo Bear or Draco. Because, I mean, we grew up together. That's really not, you know, they're my sisters. But if I say God's sister, then clearly I'm talking about my God's sisters. Okay. I'm skipping around because some of these are repetitive. I don't know why I put them on here if they're repetitive. But what are your top three favorite movies? Oh, I love this question. So I am a TV freak. I love the movies i love the shows but with movies it just depends because top three is a hard question i feel like we have to go genre wise now my favorite movie of all time is love jones so since that's a romance movie i'm just gonna go for the romance category so my top three would be love jones a walk to remember and the third one is hard because if you know me personally, you know I love Beyond the Lights. Like, I have played that movie to the ground. I love, love that movie. I love the movie. I love the score. Shout out to, um, I think his name is Mark Isham. He did that. I love the score of that movie. But it was that for a long time. But honestly, I like this movie that just recently came out. Um, it's called The Photograph. Well, not recently. It came out like 2018. That's kind of recent. Opposed to Beyond the Lights came out 2014. So yeah i think it's is it the photograph though love jones a walk to remember no it's a message in a bottle message in a bottle i watched that last year and i cried and that don't happen for me often um well i'm lying it does happen for me often in movies because i'd be feeling them for real but in romance movies like this guy i was talking to for a, a little minute last year he told me that um this this girl he used to date told him to watch um what is that movie called? what is that movie called the notebook and he told me he cried and like i guess that's like all but a part of me was like because at what point in that movie did you cry like did, did he cry when he died when they died or like did he cry when he found out that like, I'm confused as to where he cried in that movie. It's a good movie, but I never cried. And I, I've been watching that movie since I was a, a little little girl, you know? But yeah, anyways. So yeah, romance, those are my top three. Um, action, Taken, uh, Olympus Has Fallen, and... Mm, it has to be something with Jason Statham in it. I love that man down. What is it? I don't know. It's not the transporter. Okay, I'm gonna go back. We we gonna stick with the top three movies for romance because I don't know. I don't know right now. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite holiday? Christmas. Love Christmas. What is your body count? <laughs> I don't like this question. I don't like this question at all. That's crazy. It's one. Moving on. Wait, let me elaborate because I don't want nobody to think that they just is giving special or whatever. I I had a covenant with God for a while. Like I asked for a purity ring, got a purity ring in eighth grade. And I held out for a very long time. Then I got to college and it was like you know stuff just be happening so i kind of like prayed about it and i was just like i don't think i can you know save this for marriage so it's given if it feels right then i'm gonna do what i want to do you know and that's pretty much what happened yeah i'm not gonna go too deep into it but that's what happened and then after that ended it's like i don't know i just i haven't liked anyone enough to to do it again so yeah and it, that wasn't the first time i mean it happened from i lost it in 2017 up until 2020 so during that period i was you know doing my doom but i haven't haven't done it in a while okay <sighs> bro who asked i know exactly who asked these questions and you did wrong favorite position 
And it don't say favorite position. It says favorite sex position. Missionary. Have you ever cheated? No, I've never been in a relationship. And I know that don't make sense. Um, the guy, it was like friends, friends with benefits, basically. That's what it was. But, you know, we still cool to this day. It wasn't that deep, but we were never in a relationship. And I've never been in a relationship. So, no, I've never cheated. Do you want kids? If so, how many? I do want kids. And honestly, I just want two. I want a daughter and a son. But if, you know, I just have all sons or all daughters, then I'll try for a third. If by the third it's the same, that's it. I'm done. This is what God wanted me to have, child. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite cuss word? Oh, that's a good question. I think it's fuck. Probably fuck. We're running Costco. Probably fun. <laughs> yeah. Where did you go to school? I went to the illustrious Clark Atlanta University. I have a bachelor's degree in biology, working on master's in neuroscience. Um, and the last question is, what are your career aspirations? So, I want to do quite a few things. So, you know, I do have my degree in biology and my plan with that was always changing. So when I first got to college, I was a biology major and I wanted to be a physical therapist, but like me and chemistry, me and chemistry just wasn't meshing well. So sophomore year, I changed my major to psychology and I didn't tell anybody, but I was a BA in psychology. I wasn't BS, I was a BA and it was just, it was too easy. So um, that next, semester I went back to biology BS and I wanted to be a dermatologist at the time and I don't know sometime around yeah around junior year I became part-time so I could focus on chemistry and I finally passed but then it was like I don't think I want to be a doctor anymore I think I just want to finish this degree but I want to do other things so I think that year I learned that I, I really do, I like writing, but I wasn't, I didn't write a book yet. I didn't, you know, I was just, it's just something I thought of that I'd be doing for people. Like my best friend, Kaya, she had a paper or she want me to um, help her out with something. She would hit me up like, Kesey, can you read this? Or Kesey, can you edit this? Or can you help me write this? You know, and a few of my, a few other friends have asked me and I just never paid attention. But I just felt like it's my friend, so I'm going to help them. But I didn't realize that I actually like doing this. Um, and I still didn't realize that junior year. I just knew that I didn't want to be a doctor. But, um, yeah, so I became a part-time student. And then for, like, so when my classmates were seniors, I was still a junior. And then that when we when I came back, it was like I couldn't get financially enrolled. So I stayed out for, like, two years. Then I got back. And then... I was like, yeah, you know, full, pushing full throttle. And I, like my last semester of school, I did that. Cell biology lab, Dr. Murabi, I got an A in that lady class. I got an A. Do you know how much work I put in to get that freaking A? Cause that lady don't play, she don't play. And I failed her class twice. Well, I didn't fail, I got a D, but that's, that's a fail in biology. If I wasn't a biology major, that would have been passing, but mm -mm, you have to pass. The first two times though, I got a D. Well, I think the first time I withdrew because I thought I was gonna get a D and the second time I did get a D. And then third time's a charm, I got an A in that lady class. I worked my ass off. And I didn't have that many classes either. It was my last semester. I had like her class, the lab, and like one other class. But yeah, so she that class had my full focus. So that class, and then of course I was working at the time. But anyways, after I graduated, I was like, wow, what do I wanna do? One day I just started typing something up and wrote a whole fucking book. And I was like, I think I wanna do this. Cause this book that I'm, I'm still writing it by the way. The book that I'm writing though, I want it to be like a series of books. So I want to do that. Um, of course y'all know that I make candles. I also make my own perfume. So I want to do that. And that's gonna be the Miss Monier brand. Um, eventually I want to get into like spices and cookware. So, 
you know, the Miss Monye. I don't think it's going to be Miss Monye cuisine. I did jump out the window and get an LLC. I have two, so one for Miss Monye and one is for Miss Monye cuisine. At the time, I thought that was a great idea, but now, like, I'm not really feeling it anymore. And I deleted my Instagram account for that page. I think I'm going to focus on the, the um, you know, the candle and the perfume making now. And when I'm doing something, then I'll circle back because I'm still going to be cooking on this channel. So I'll circle back. But yeah, so I want to do that. And clearly I'm looking to get into a master's program for neuroscience. So I want to be a neurologist, um, not a neuroscientist because there, there is like a slight difference. So with neuroscience, they actually work on like cadavers and like play with, well not play with, but you know try to work out what's going on in the brain and do like experiments and stuff. And I just, I don't think I want to do that. Like, I don't know. I know in med school, of course, you have to work on cadavers to learn to do this stuff, but I just feel like, I don't think I have the bandwidth to do that. I don't want to treat a human body like a test dummy. Like, I just don't want to do that. So I think I'm gonna go the neurology standpoint and that's gonna be like mostly like research and helping out with diagnos diagnosis but yeah so those are the things I want to do so author of my, my brand and then my career and I also want to do this YouTube thing I want to do a, I, I, I don't know I want to do a lot of things and I'm gonna do all the things but yeah right now focusing on this master's program that was, that was a good question though um, but this has been getting to know me. Um, I don't know why I thought I was just going to be sitting here drinking this. So I guess it's okay that I didn't have no wine because I am feeling this a little bit. Okay, well, this could have been a mukbang too because I have some seafood and I'm literally about to eat it after this. But anyways, um, this has been getting to know me slash Q&A. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe.